Practice One, Material and Equipment of Genetic Engineering Laboratory. The practice was focused to know and develop the skills required for the use of micropipettes, which are important pieces in the materials of the laboratory. In the experiments, we demonstrate the efficiency of the micropipettes in the minimum, medium, and maximum limits. Using an analytical scale and microtubes and comparing with the weight of the water which was taken from the micropipette. To take a good scale, it's important to check the scale is working correctly, is clean, that is connected and is calibrated. When you are going to take a sample with a micropipette, we need to know about the transformer volume is in microliters. There are two types, manual and digital. And the parts of it are a plunger, deep eject button, volume adjustment, volume readout, deep eject shaft, and deep attachment. In third experiment, measurements were carried out to determine the reliability of the results of micropipettes while working in different volumes, including the maximum and the minimum range capacities of such. The three micropipettes that were used were the ones of 20, 200, and 1000 microliters. Then, the dispersion measurements were calculated to assess the reliability of such results. In the second part of the experiment, we take a micropipette from 2 micro microliter, another from 200 microliter, and another of 1000 microliter. And we took five samples of every micropipette. So then we take an average and a deviation standard to discuss the results that we have expected before. According to the obtained data, we can select the largest standard deviation value of each micropipette that we use. In the 20 microliters micropipette is the maximum limit. In the 200 microliters micropipette is the minimum limit. And finally, in the 1000 microliters micropipette is the maximum limit. In this case we can see that the the largest standard deviation value of each micropipette is located in the limits of each kind of micropipette. In the second experiment the standard deviation value are different but we can see that the largest value of standard deviation in this case is from the micropipette of 1000 microliters. According to CCA, the standard deviation is a numerical index of a dispersion of a data set. The higher the standard deviation, the greater the dispersion of the population. Then you can measure the degree of dispersion or variability of a data set. According to this definition, the ones that were mentioned are the, the ones that has the higher degree of dispersion. Then we can say that depending on the micro pipet, you can have a specific error depending on the limit of each one. In conclusion, it can be observed that the measurements that are having the biggest variations were the ones made with the minimum range capacity. Among other things that can affect the exact value of the result, using minimum range capacity is the one that greatly interferes with it. Other things that need to be taken into account while taking the sample or loading it are lowering the micropipettes at the same rate that the sample or liquid is being loaded, and submerging completely the micropipettes sent in the sample may give big variations in the result.